register? Can you help others? Uh, no, uh, what is this no answer? Okay. Okay, uh, anybody is having a problem, okay. So please help others. I could see some uh, uh, password. Nahi aapko mail mein aayega. Jo password aap diya hai, wahi hai. Email verify nahi ho ra hai. Meaning either you have given a wrong email ID. Uh, please change your, when you join a Zoom meeting, you should change your participation name. Now there, I, I have seen some others too, having their phone IDs as their names. Xiaomi, I don't know who is this. Email to verify ho jayega. That's a basic thing. Okay. Um, logged in successfully. Fantastic. So I want to see that at least more than 50% are uh, logged in. I also checked, uh, somebody sent me an activity also already. Yeah, please do, don't send now, okay? We'll go step by step, not to confuse uh, first timers. No, it, it just uh, giving you a hint, Meenakshi ji, uh, subscribe karne ke liye pooch raha hai to, bas, okay? Don't, we are not subscribing. That's why I started a HYP catalog to serve teachers. Yeah, so as a dashboard, I got, okay, looks like many of you registered. Okay, let me start then. Let me share my screen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my screen. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> On the left hand side here, you will see that uh, there is a small button menu, uh, menu. We can hide it by just clicking that. And again, you can hover your mouse and then you can see your contents over there. Okay. Let me again back to this when you click that you will see this menu again on the left hand side you have public content and my content because i have already created some content i could see this my content and you will have a create a new content and upload your content and also this these are the shared your links as i said hyp allows any hyp editor allows you um, to reuse any already available hyp content okay i hope you all are uh, well versed with the open educational resources where uh, uh, you could figure out and find out open educational resources uh, in a text video and image similarly even hyps you can uh, find with various or uh, different open licenses uh, i think people are Okay, no. Jyoti, madam, India is not there as a country. It's not about the country. I know you are referring to this. This is the language. Okay, this is the language that is English. And uh, I am translating it to, into as a volunteer. I am translating uh, Lumi and also uh, H5P into Telugu. Sometimes I do Hindi too. 
आ, अगर आपको भी करना है तो एच वाई पी ट्रांसलेट कर सकते हो लूमी को भी ट्रांसलेट कर सकते हो वॉलेंटरीली ओके इट्स नॉट अ पेड जॉब इट इज अ लैंग्वेज इट्स नॉट अ कंट्री डोंट गेट मिस्टेक इन ओके एंड फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट विथ अ क्रिएट अ न्यू कॉन्टेंट हियर will click on this create a new content that is the first step and this is your interface this is your <coughs> this is your h5p editor okay all these uh, 50 varieties of interactivities uh, whether it is layout based or activity based are listed here you can uh, use any of these you can click on the details and you see the demo of it and also screenshots of it wherever you use hpp <clears throat> whether you use in a uh, content management system like drupal or a wordpress site or in a learning management system like moodle or a canvas you can uh, see this interface similarly okay here these are all the content types uh, you can uh, sort them out as newest first or a to z or popular first and here is uh, an option to create a content or you can search for the content type here also there is a copy paste option copy paste we will talk about it a bit later okay so right now we will start small the small ones uh, we have to start as i said on the right hand side you have an option for uh, language and this is the keywords that you will you will be providing for your <laughs> once you create your content and then to deploy your content there is also help option to give you okay so right now we will start with a simple um activity called mark the words okay let me click on this any if, even if you click on anywhere here or if you click on the details you land on the screen and then you will see these screenshots and also content demo and also they write about this each particular content type and the license of it and then you can click on use and this is where you land okay this is the editor A editor of mark the words content type as i said there are many content types that in hpp that you can create one of them is mark the words and uh, it, these editor interface like for a mark the words for uh, if you are creating a crossword or if you are creating a timeline or if you are creating any column right so the editor differs depending upon the type of content that you chose and beauty of this editor is for every content type that you chose there is a tutorial and also there is a example from hyp dot o r g okay you can make it a full screen by clicking on this um corner double arrow option you can enter into full screen uh, for each and every content type the very first option is to create a title let me see once my chat box to what's going on lumi works on a mobile uh, that's not an issue at all unless you uh use uh, you try to download your desktop application that's why i chose a lumi cloud it works on your mobile okay so now i will give the title of it <clears throat> title kya dena chahiye pryavachi shabd aisa kuch samanarth shabd aisa kuch karenge Okay, पहले मुझे टास्क दे रही हूं देन समानार्थवाद शब्दों को पहचाने ओके दिस इज माय टाइटल ओके सिनोनिम्स इन व्हाट इज द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू गिव सो आई वांट टू गिव अ डिस्क्रिप्शन समानार्थ वाले शब्दों को पहचाने और टिक करें for any kind of a uh, authoring of a content it's always important to provide a proper instruction at the same time if if the content type or if the software enables a good feedback to okay so samanarth wale shabdon ko pehchane is my title you can create your own depending on the subject that you teach and uh, <clears throat> then we will talk about this metadata at the end 
Okay, there is a small button called metadata here. And below the title, there is an option for media. For example, you want to provide uh, for any uh, question, an uh, image or a video, you can provide here. It's always a good idea not to upload any video. Uh, it's always an uh, image, of course, you have to upload. Uh, for a video, it's always good to give any streaming video option like uh, Vimeo or uh, YouTube ones, okay? Right now, I'm not using any media. And then comes here instructions, important instructions. How to write? An example is also given. The correct words are marked like this, that the word is, the correct words are marked inside the asterisk asterisk ke beech mein correct word likhna chahiye mark the words is a type of a content where <clears throat> you provide a paragraph and then you ask your user to click on the answer options let us see once uh, the example maybe you get an idea and then we have to do this for example click on the various types of berries mentioned in the text below so these are the various berries Okay, red currants, cloud berries. Okay, there are still seven. You got four of seven points. There are seven of them. That I can retry or you can, I can, I can um, see the solution directly. These two, again, depends upon the author, what they do. I told you that we can always reuse the content that is provided in um, hyp.org is all licensed with Creative Commons share alike license. You can see that. Um, that uh, the licensing information about the content that they host here. So whenever you want to reuse them, you have to provide this information inside a metadata. You can click on reuse and you can download it and upload it to any H5P editor to reuse this particular piece of information. Okay, coming here again, this is our editor. I have title here. और यहाँ पे टास्क डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया है समान अर्थ वाले शब्दों को पहचाने और टिक करें और यहाँ पे मुझे वो देना चाहिए सो अगेन क्रिएटिविटी इस द लिमिट लाइक यू कैन गिव अ एंटायर पैराग्राफ लाइक दैट और आई कैन से लेट मी टेक दिस Okay, so correct words are these. So I keep these words inside asterisk. Remember only words, not the phrase. Okay, so I just took for an example. Okay, so I can paste this. I just want to jumble it to somewhere here. Okay, these are my correct options. And uh, overall feedback. Again, this interface differs from each content type to content type. Okay. So overall feedback may Hum kya de sakte hai? add a range. We can add a range and we can automatically distribute this range also. So agar 33% se kam aya to need practice. Ab Hindi mein bhi type kar sakte hai. Okay. Good. This is excellent. And then comes behavioral setting. These behavioral settings, again, depends upon the type of content uh, um, that you are using to create interactivity. That Depending on that, these settings will differ. See, enable retry, enable show solution. As, uh, <clears throat> as a teacher, you can decide whether to show this or not to show this. Okay, now this is all I have created and now I'll. it's a time to save it. I'll click on save. Before I click on save, let me understand everybody is on the same page. All of you are creating chosen mark the words and type the title 
give the task description. If you are a science teacher, you give a paragraph of that science material and you ask them to click on those materials related to that particular topic or something like that. If you are a language teacher, you can play around with meanings or if you are a music teacher, you can write about Nad and Shabd and then you ask them to identify different types of Nad in that particular paragraph, something like that, okay? Uh, creativity, sky is the limit for any subject, okay? It's not that only science uh, people can use this or only language people can use this. You For any subject, uh, this is the this is how this tool works. And then it's your way, uh, the, you have to wear a thinking hat and think about it, how you can utilize it in your context with your topic. So all of you on the same page with me so that I can click on save. In the chat, you can type yes or no. Okay, I'll wait. Okay. I will answer this, uh, Deshraj Dhiman. Uh, kya ye chargeable hai? Shabana ji, it, as of now, it is not. And as I said, H5P is a free tool and you can host it on your own also. Or if you want to create your content, you can always register it. HYP uh, catalog, but then only restriction there is to repurpose open educational resources. Okay, good. Uh, upar likha hua a raha hai. Haan ji, subscribe karne ke liye pooch raha hai. Video tutorials, please, it will be helpful. Imran Khan ji, hai, bahaad sare tutorial already available hai. Aur mere tutorials bhi uh, YouTube mein hai. Aur hyp.org mein bhi hai. Shabnam ji, 896 rupees per month, that is for subscription, that is they are requesting. Maybe in future they make it mandatory too. I don't know about it. Okay. But then you can always uh, depend on H5P catalog. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how to change language. Okay. Okay. Sonam ji, register ki ji. Aapko offline maybe ye help hoga. I'll tell you how you can use offline too. हाँ, language change कर सकते हैं अगर आप अगर आपके language is available हो तो और text overrides and translation में जाके अगर आप देना चाहते हैं आपके language में शायद आप लिखिए देखिए वो आएगा okay okay very good uh, तो हमने save किया है यहाँ पर save करने के बाद इसके ऊपर इंटरफेस में एडिट लिखा हुआ है और व्यू लिखा हुआ है अगर मैं व्यू में क्लिक करूं तो कान के पर्यावरणीय शब्द सो सी व्हाट इज अ मिस्टेक हियर यू गाइस हैव टू टेल मी Shayad, it is sticking as the language. Let me see this way. Still, current is the problem. Okay. It is not taking others. Let's check it out. Why? Sometimes uh, the rendering of the language, depending upon the renders that they create, it may give you errors like this, but then you can always solve it, if not immediately. The problem is with okay, Shavanendriya is correct. Retry. Okay. 
ओके श्रवण एंड श्रवणेंद्रिय ये ले रहा है कर्ण क्यों नहीं ले रहा है ये हमको देखना पड़ेगा If you are trying in English, please do let me know if this kind of error comes. Yeah, there is some spacing issue over there. So I am trying to resolve it. Shravanendriya. Let me try this also. What's wrong with this Shravanendriya? Okay, uh, because it is taking as one part of the language. You know that, right? When we type here, uh, it takes as a Unicode and it takes the English letters at the back end. The machine takes it as English. Okay, so I tried in English, worked well. Okay. Yeah, Karn means Karn, yes. Let me also, like, like this, we can always check and uh, we have to correct these. I have some mistakes like this. I showed you how I correct this, right? So, correct options are Karna, Shravanendri and Shravan. And then, it, depending on that, it is it will give you, that's fine. But then, how do you uh, distribute it? How do you share it with the world? Okay, so let me... Agar aapki Hindi yahan pe available ho to, you can change uh, that language. This is in Hindi, not yet available. In keywords, you can give like any keyword and comma and press enter and you can have. And then coming to uh, sharing, right? And publicly with a license. I hope you are all well versed with the uh, basic licenses, Creative Commons licenses, open licenses, and also uh, and also about um, public domain tools, two public domain tools, right? So CC by SA is, what is CC by SA says? Can anybody type in the chat? It's uh, in any open license of Creative Commons, CC is Creative Commons, by is attribution. Yes, Vivek Nidalji, share alike. Yes, you have to share with the same kind of a license okay so but i want i i'll I, i'll tell you why i share with share alike license if not why not with cc by let i will tell you very soon and then i want to display my copyright information also this is with uh, copyright terms of uh, service i agree i say publish and now it is publicly available this is your public link you can copy it and then you can provide it to others like for example i will provide this link here okay somebody bhuman chandra ji just uh, gave a okay tatva hai okay <laughs> let me try like this yeah okay but then you please give a context here. Okay. That's good, sir. At least as a first trial. But then you can ask me that agar mene asa use kiya hai. But then how do... Oh, oh, where am I? Yeah. But how do I reuse this, repurpose this? Can I edit it? Yes, you can edit it. Devendra Prakash ji, subscription wo pooch raha hai, maang raha hai. Lekin mandatory nahi kiya hai abhi tak. Yeah, half mark or partially correct, Vesa nahi dikhai dega. Depending upon your content type, yahan pe jo diya wa hai, wo aisa. How to distribute marks, wo distribute aisa apne aap le raha hai idhar. Aisa jaise ki other quiz applications ke zariye aap yahan pe alag alag nahi de sakte hai. It will apne aap it, uh, 0 to 100 percent mein, depending upon the correct options, it will divide. 
ओके यूसुफ अली सर लूमी ऐप के बारे में अभी हम बात नहीं किया है अभी हम लूमी क्लाउड एप्लीकेशन के लिए uh, कर रहे हैं टू बाई टू बिकॉज दे आर टू यू आर नॉट शोइंग द स्कोर ऑप्शन आई थिंक इफ यू आर शोइंग यस ओके समर इज द स्टेप्स अगेन ओके वी विल गिव द टाइटल और उसके बाद टास्क डिस्क्रिप्शन डिस्क्राइब हाउ द यूजर शुड सॉल्व द टास्क सच अ ब्यूटिफुल एप्लीकेशन दिस इज एवरीवेयर दे विल एक्सप्लेन इवन अदरवाइज यू हैव अ ट्यूटोरियल एंड एग्जांपल अवेलेबल एंड देन कम्स टेक्स्ट फील्ड अंडर टेक्स्ट फील्ड यू हैव टू राइट दैट करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड रॉन्ग ऑप्शन एंड करेक्ट ऑप्शन आर between your asterisks and feedback depending upon it's up to you if you want to divide that and provide and behavioral settings to show score points and uh, <clears throat> for each answer and then <coughs> it won't divide jaise aap chahte ho it will automatically calculates retry button or show solution button agar aap de rahe hain ya nahi de rahe hain wo show karega okay that's very good somebody else is also riyaz ahmed dar okay he created okay manoh manodhar ji if two answers are correct and one is correct it is showing zero marks it is not marked sir how many correct and how many zero let me explain you once let me see this somebody sent this now okay he uh, played with uh, okay again these are not openly licensed images let me tell you he played with uh, image hotspots okay uh, but then the images that you have provided sir is not uh, copy uh, openly licensed uh, options and uh, but your content says cc by sa they are commercially licensed options okay if you provide see your all your images are unidentified license if you use any image please provide the license and then please take openly licensed images only that is my request if you use a creative commons license okay that's good okay very good uh let me go here again so these are the steps that is about mark the words we will also do the next step before that i want to tell you that there is a metadata option here right this metadata option yeah i will um ek ghante mein sab bolna to utna easy nahi hai fir bhi main koshish karke aapka doubt to clear karungi sir uh, mustafa kamal sir i'll try to पायल जी आपने क्यों ये स्क्रीनशॉट दिया है पता नहीं या आई एम कमिंग देर आई एम कमिंग देर ओके सो देर इज अ बटन कॉल्ड मेटा डेटा हियर व्हाट इज दिस ऑल अबाउट एंड दिस मेटा डेटा बटन यू यू कम अक्रॉस ऑन मेनी a uh, content types in many ways in many places too sometimes because the metadata button next to title is about the entire content that you developed for example this entire content is developed by me so author name i write as my name but remember when you are sharing publicly make sure that the content is um really openly licensed you cannot revoke the license once you give any creative commons license remember that yeah content creator does not know score of content user that is about reporting bashir ahmed ji uh, i haven't uh, really touched the reporting option yet i'm still at creation level yeah there is a save button on the right hand side you can see on my screen too here anita ji you can click on save and it will be saved to view there is an option on top next to edit there is a view you to view the content okay okay we are talking about this uh, metadata when i clicked the metadata tight next to the title 
Pradeep sir, please don't use h5p.org. I'm dead against to it being a H5PN. I'm sorry to say this. And I'll save it as author. However good the content is, h5p.org is not to showcase. Okay. So here uh, is the author name. You can add number of authors too. And then sometimes for a content, you can have editor, licensee, and the originator too. So actually now we requested even for an instructional designer option over here because sometimes we play a role as both author and an instructional designer. So we, are, we, are, we, are, we, we just asked them. I don't know whether it will be implemented. So author's name I have given. So and here there is a button called a license and license version and a source. From where I have taken any kind of a content usually is from inspired from somewhere or with an openly licensed option only. I have taken this from a dictionary. So the uh, source is this. And you know that any wiki is licensed with CC by SA 4.0. Okay. So that's why I shared my content with CC by SA. Okay. I'm sharing with the similar license again. License extracts, if you need any additional information about it, you can write. Or if you have changed any content, and it is mandatory now to provide uh, any changes that you do for, if you are sharing as CC by SA, then it is mandatory to write what is that change that you have given in a change log. Okay, I haven't changed any, I just used it as is. So now I say save metadata. And now again, I'll click on save. If I want, I can always download this. Okay. And this is my public link. Okay. Let me go to public link once. Yeah. Actually, it should display uh, copyrights here, but I don't know why it is not. Okay. So <laughs> I didn't do anything. So that's why it is showing free try. Okay, so this is how um, we create, um, mm, mark the words in any content. But then somebody asked me about how do we see reporting? How we know that which user did what and the reports, how we know. Uh, those are the slides I have. If we have a learning management system or a site that supports your H5P content, you can view the users and how much time they spent and uh, what is, let me share that slide again. Or you can enable that or you can use your uh, Lumi uh, desktop application as of now, it's free. And you can see that how much time they have spent and then what is correct. But those reports, Lumi reports are at a very nascent stage. Okay, let me uh, present the screen once again, how the reports look like for a interactive video to see here the attempts and uh, whether they completed whether they are success what do you mean by success so the uh, score is 21 maximum score is 21 so if they uh, procured that then it is considered as completed and successful if they secure a uh, very less marks that is only two they scored and then 21 is the maximum score then only it is considered as completion you can see a detailed report also and how much time and extra other options also okay you can view all this when you have a certain environment to host this particular piece of content and see it or if for example you have um used a Lumi desktop application. Uh, as I said, it is in a very nascent stage of Lumi analytics. When you have a Lumi application downloaded onto your desktop, and then you want to operate it uh, as a, you create a HTML file and you want to operate it, then this is how the analytics that you can create. That is again, another topic. It's a huge topic that we have to discuss. And I think in today we will be discussing more about how to use Lumi cloud application and Lumi desktop application to create content and to distribute it. The reporting aspect, we are not touching it yet. Okay. But then it is possible to see. Remember, when, whenever you create a content, also you have to uh, consider uh, the 
accessibility point of view also. There are uh, accessible H5P content types, only them you better you create. For example, let me go to what is a accessible content types, right? That means uh, even people were using uh, different devices to access your content, um, they will be able to access that particular piece of content with, for example, a Chrome Vox reader or a screen reader or a visually impaired person if you are they are using uh, um, uh, Braille. Right, for example, actually I am trying to do an experiment to create interactive content that is accessible, fully accessible, and then uh, try it out with them and how what are their inputs on that. If any of you are addressing uh, especially uh, uh, special children, please do let me know, okay? So for example, here if you see this table, arithmetic quiz is fully accessible and uh, all these options are fully accessible and also let us see our uh, mark the words yes it is fully accessible okay okay now let us see now another content type and then somebody asked me that how can i get these kind of interactivities inside a video let us see that For example, here I want to, again, let me go to dashboard and my content. If I click, I have all my content listed. Now I want to create a new content. Okay. So I can take an interactive video. For demo purpose, I will show you two things in one go. That is how to download and upload any content you already have and then incorporate anything into it. For example, let me download uh, any content. Okay, uh, these are all very serious topics, nothing. Okay, let me go to hyp.org. Interactive video. And let me reuse this. And you see this, when you click on any content and when you click on rights of use, you will see this information. Similarly, even in HYP catalog, when you click on this rights of use, you'll see this. This is the image and this is a public domain image. Who is the author? What is the source? And options like this. Okay. So similarly, we are trying to download this. Let me close this. Interactive video, reuse and download. And here I have upload karna hai wo, Right? So create a content. Before that, let me go to dashboard and upload your content. And here we will take interactive video which we have downloaded. I hope this one. Okay, जो हमने अभी अभी किया है समानार्थ वाले okay so this is my interactive video and whatever I have already created for example I told you that we can use copy paste option also right and there are three steps for an interactive video. That is to upload first a video, then interactions, then summary. Always to upload a video, don't upload any video. Just give a streaming 
option. You know that how to find uh, openly licensed videos. If you don't know, go to YouTube. And search for basic Hindi. And here filters lijiye Creative Commons. And Urdu for beginners mil gaya. Are wah. Yaha pe, uh, but let me see the license. Creative Commons attribution. Always a Creative Commons attribution in YouTube will be 3.0 option. So to use this video, you can always click on the share and then copy this. And to add a video here. So if I don't use this, there will be add a video option. And then there will be a URL option to give. You can provide that URL and your video will be here. Let me explain you the interface of interactive video. And these are all the interactivities that you can add to your video. But then where to add? This is the seek bar. Okay. Wherever you want to add any interaction. See here, there are various types of interactions who are added to the video. So first you have to plan for this. You have to write a storyboard for this. What, what is the length of the video? And then what are the key moments of the video? And then where you want to add your interactions? And then what type of interaction that you want to add? For example, here there is an option of mark the words, but I already have a mark the words I have created. But here, I want, for example, I'm just taking a, a dummy video, but then in that video, Hindi ka part ke video mein, agar beech mein, agar aapko aisa wala question dena chaate ho. So, for example, here, uh, where is that uh, Hindi ka? Ah, so, we will copy it and we will paste it in the video. We will paste it in the video. So, this is the paste it. Otherwise, if you want to create separately, mark the words here, then you can click on this mark the words. And it will ask you to pause the video. Yes, I want to pause the video. How you want your interaction to display as a button or as a poster? You have to decide. I want to display it as a poster. And then this is title of the mark the words. Uh, and then metadata, you know that. And then uh, task description. Or here text field, we will And again, all this is a similar one. But then I wanted to post whatever I already have. So I already have this. So I want to display as a poster. I will double click it and I'll pause the video. Poster is a bagya mira. And yaha par behavioral settings hai wo same hai. Like niche aur ek setting hota hai adaptivity that is about your video agar user ne ye theek se answer nahi diya hai to kya karna chahiye usko pura piche jana hai ya jahan aapne ye uh, topic ke bare mein jo baat kar rahe hain shayad aap kaan ke bare mein aur paryavachi shabd ke bare mein kuch baat kar rahe hain to wahan jana chahiye to aap yahan de sakte hain action on wrong seek to for example yahan pe um, kahi sorry zero Colon, yahan pe kahi aap baat kar rahe ho iske baare mein, right? So then uh, I can give that and message mein dik sakte hain, please watch the video again, okay? And uh, I want require full score for task before proceeding. What does it mean? Unless he correctly answers, he cannot move forward. So, aisa wala mera ek yahan pe aagya, ye time pe. Thik hai? Uh, let me check. It's only 1 minute 0, 05 point seconds. Okay, thik hai. To yahan par hai. And then when I say save, and then when I click on view,
प्लीज एक्सक्यूज मी आई टेक अ स्मॉल Sorry, that was uh, an emergency call. Uh, so यहाँ पे मैंने remember I have given. Uh, let me take a wrong option. So need practice. Please watch the video again. This is the um, feedback that is for mark the words, and this is the message that we have give, just given. When I say continue. <laughs> see it has reached where i specified the content right that uh, the seek bar 0.12 seconds that's where i want him to go back i want her to go back to that particular content and then rewatch the video and come again and answer if i answer even now wrong okay right it will again take me back to that place if i answer correct for example three or three all three are correct now it will continue and then once at the end they have to submit the answers for the report to generate if you are in any wordpress or a drupal site or in a lms site somebody asked me can they have in their blogger site if you have a wordpress site you can have otherwise what you can do is you can embed the content okay so you can click on this embed content to first we need to create a deployment i didn't share it publicly so let me go back to the content i'll show you how we can embed this in any website okay only my deployed content can be okay yeah see when i say copy embed code this iframe code will come and then you can paste it okay you so that in your website that will apply but then when it comes to reporting it is not possible and when you have a saas solution you you can have that reporting option or you should have your learning management system or you use a lumi desktop application for a basic reporting option okay now i want to also tell you that there is a ai option nowadays for a saas solution in h5p where i will just provide a link or a document or even a text file that it will automatically creates all types that it can create interactive content with that piece of information i don't have to choose what content type and then once it gives me a bunch of options that it will automatically create and gives and then i have to choose that particular piece that uh, which a content type that i require you can read more about it in hyp.org uh, that is about uh, uh, your smart import i think uh, uh yeah smart import will be given like this and then where simply you can create a, a content from directly um uh, in your saas solution okay you please uh, explore this in hyp.org what is a smart import you can search for smart import what you can do is you can you can provide a piece of information like text file or a document or a uh, any pdf let me show you unfortunately i cannot show you my um saas solution to you but then these are all the options there is a nice video also how it works and what it works with what it doesn't work with what are the limitations it has provided it simply you can provide a text file or you provide a uh, pdf or a web link it will automatically creates hyp content types for you but it won't add a copyright information you have to do it a little manually definitely okay that is about uh, using a copy paste option and then using your public content and creating interactive content here and then reusing it i also showed you how to reuse 
Now coming to desktop application. Let me just show you that Let's desktop application two once. So here are two options. When you go to app.lumi.education, Lumi desktop and Lumi cloud, you can click on this Lumi desktop and then it will ask you Windows, Mac or Linux. Uh, obviously, most of you will have Windows option, but then remember you need a 64-bit uh, uh, machine to install this Lumi desktop application. Once you install your desktop application, the interface, how it looks like, I'll show you now. Let me stop sharing this because I need to share my entire screen so that you will be able to see the Lumi desktop application. <clears throat> I will share all the videos how to uh, load this Lumi application, what are all the other options just after this. <clears throat> okay, let me share my screen. My entire desktop. I'm sharing my entire desktop. Now I'm trying to use, this is the Lumi application that I installed. And this is the interface. If anybody using a desktop application, fantastic uh, Rakesh Kumar ji, aapne bhi content bheja hai, dekhenge hum iske baad. Um, ye, ye interface hai, Lumi desktop application ka, HYP editor hai, Lumi analytics hai. To pehle hum dekhenge HYP editor. To yaha pe jayenge hum, agar uh, aapke uh, koi kuch downloaded HYP hai, a package hai to aap use kar sakte hain open kar sakte hain ya create a new hyp when i click on a create a new hyp this is again the same interface you don't have to worry about it here is a view here is a edit option and then once you create your content for example let me open my already uh, downloaded any file and then when i uh, create this when i say there is an option called export when I say export, when I say all-in-one HTML file, you have to send this file to your user, right? When And then, then only they will be able to include it in the reporter. So, or if you have a HTML file like this, you can uh, keep it in any of your websites too. You know that in a site, you can add any HTML file. So... <laughs> You can include reporter. If you want the embed link to be displayed, you can display it. But then this is a offline option. Uh, so it won't be able to. If you want a reporter and you can more about it here about Lumi reporter, you can click on this. So when I say export now, it will be created as a HTML file here. Observe. It just needs a browser to open this entire file. It doesn't require anything. Okay, that is about export or there is an option called save and save as, right? Save as is or save, it will save it as a HYP package. That means you can again reopen it, you can modify it and reuse it. But this is not the file to distribute with users. To distribute with users, you have to export it as a SCOM or a HTML file. If you export it as a SCOM, sometimes it requires um, simple browser. Sometimes it may require a player too. Okay. Now I say that all-in-one HTML file export now. And then this is about interactive video and downloads. And let me open that file. Uh, in downloads, I have... Yeah, this is my HTML file. Um, I don't know whether you are able to see this. Okay, I have to share. Get this here. Yeah, this is a HTML file, right? So when I include the reporter, 
on top you will find this lumi option there is a small download option so whenever the user interacts with this and then after interaction the user will click this option and uh, type the name and then it will the reporting ke liye jo bhi file chahiye wo download ho jayega wo leke aap lumi analytics mein dal sakte hain but then don't worry for all this i have a help file that i have created um I think I have shared all the links here. Okay. Uh, a resource to help you to know how students can submit Lumi file back when you share as a HTML file with them so that you can view it later. Okay. And then what is a HYP smart import option? Also, I have given some templates and more examples I have given and help files on the HYP. Also, all these links are in the presentation not to worry about it now let me see um you used a lumi desktop pradeep sir okay and then uh you created a content and then when you uh, you you can share that file here as a html file if you want or you can get that onto lumi cloud and then show us with the link uh whatsapp group may jayega i don't know how they share but i share with cit i'll share it here um the presentation link also uh yeah okay more questions i'll talk about this arti uh yes right now i will talk about it okay let me share my screen about more questions um and uh, this is the presentation link okay the rest of the links I will share and Aarti ma'am yeah I will answer your question now let me share yeah mm, yeah see for we, we will open these content types different content types you know mm. let me close this let me explain you this way we discussed about uh, different content types right yeah here when you see these for example mark the words or multiple choice ones right you can add only single single ones but then um, the create the creativity is up to you how you can add different types of questions but after one question you you need another question to come then what you can do is you can go for a quiz option or we used to call a question set right what are the question sets Various types of questions that you can add here. What are those? Either mark the words, multiple choice, drag and drops, fill in the blanks, drag the words, true or false essay or image choice questions. These are the various types. Essay questions are not uh, um, really now for it unless you have a reporting option. Okay. Uh, try first, start small first. So first explore these yellow ones. Let me share this link also with you all so that... Uh, this help file on H5P. Uh, yeah, I shared this link also. Okay. So here you first start single questions and then you can go on. For example, you take a quiz one and then, yeah, here is the quiz, right? Let me open a new one. I think it's better. Create a new content. And then I'll take a question set. We used to call it a quiz, a question set and it is a quiz now. And it is a sample. And quiz introduction, you can write title, introduction text. 
and uh, you start button text also let's go you can write background image you can add and progress indicator that after one either textual or dots okay and now you can add your questions various types of questions so for example mark the words i want to have and then let me see if i can replace yes mera mark the words maine abhi copy karke rakha hai na so same uh, isme hai to cloud mein hai to aa gaya wo agar if i want another one i'll copy this add a question again paste i can change all these options so did i solve uh, but then behavioral settings differs for this one again okay so and also a score announcer also it, it is different and then these are all self taught nothing to be uh, really given uh, one by one these are all a very explained very good uh, uh, options that they are given one by one you read and you add different types of questions and you can save it anybody wants to try a quiz right away ma'am uh, i shared the screen oh this is not here oh i have to share the screen again i'm sorry i'll go back again i'm sorry i'm so sorry yeah what i did again i'll try a uh, new and question set and sample come down here you can provide your quiz introduction if you want to display introduction you can display otherwise no and then you can add a background image for that too and here let me cancel all this yeah you can click on add a question and then here you can choose if you want uh, all the mark the words then you can choose mark the words i want to replace it with my hindi one and you can add another question if you want another question also mark the words you can take or you can take any drag and drop or a multiple choice or mark the words or drag the words you can take it okay so drag the words are also similar like mark the words these are all self taught tutorials please uh, uh, very well explained tutorials are given in hvp.org and also in hvp catalog and also i have shared some links with you so please explore and what i want is all of you to start small first these yellow ones are smaller ones right so first when you explore this then you will be you will get used to the interface you will get used to how it behaves you will understand what it does don't uh, uh, think that every every authoring tool is similar and uh, uh you are doing a summative one it is a formative one especially for a knowledge checks rather than a uh, scoring and all but then to to exactly see the user engagement that that's where the reporting is very useful right that this is more for a formative one on ad range okay this is a uh, like is feedback 0 to 100 percent one feedback jaha jaitne aapke 33 percent answer kiya to bhi same feedback aayega अगर 100% परसेंट एड एड किया तो भी सेम फीडबैक आएगा इंस्टेड ऑफ इट यू कैन एड डिफरेंट रेंजेस एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इवनली एंड देन अगर 25% यानी कि एक चार करेक्ट ऑप्शंस है तो एक करेक्ट किए तो क्या फीडबैक uh, होना है uh, एक से ज्यादा है तो क्या फीडबैक है दो है तो तीन है तो क्या फीडबैक है अगर चार चारों में चार भी करेक्ट है तो क्या फीडबैक है ओके सो आई कैन एड रेंजेस आई कैन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट इवनली and then um here comes your uh submit button chahiye finish button kya kaisa rakhna chahiye ye sab aap dekh sakte hain let me paste it again mark the words these are the two questions okay let me save it just for the sake of it and let's view it so here you will see these are the dots and then i can see this next and there is a finish option so e each ke liye okay and then i have given enough uh, examples also uh, add one more question yeah we can add one more question no doubt about it what type of a question that you want to add for example uh, drag the words we will add okay um, drag the words 
drag the words into correct boxes or you can provide this is also similar like what you can do is uh, droppable words are uh, added with an asterisk in front of behind correct word or a phrase in mark the words it is like only word but then in drag the words it can be a phrase too for example okay so agar aap koi diksha ke platform mein kahin se aap lena chahte hain for example the same dictionary one i will take mm. let me see same example i am taking here sir Pani gel. I can type, but uh, typing jal jaldi ho jayega shayad. Then copy paste. Okay. Now I'll save it. ये क्यों नहीं जा रहा है वी हैव टू सी वेदर आई हैव गिवन अ प्रॉपरली और नॉट समटाइम्स रीजनल लैंग्वेज में ये प्रॉब्लम होता है ट्राई इट इन इंग्लिश फिर भी नहीं आ रहा है फिर भी इट्स नॉट टेकिंग राइट इसीलिए कि इट यू एन टेक ओनली अ करेक्ट वर्ड आई थॉट समबडी एल्स विल आंसर बिकॉज आई कुड सी मेनी पीपल आर ट्राइंग आउट वेरियस कॉन्टेंट टाइप्स ओके एंड या यू यू नो ऑल द अदर वंस लाइक दिस यू कैन हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन एड वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड यू कैन यू कैन हैव अ मल्टीपल चॉइस वन ट्रू और फॉल्स वन और इमेज चॉइस इमेज चॉइस इज you will be given a textual question and then given images for example ye paltu janwar in mein se kaun sa hai agar aapne teen images ko diya hua hai then you can do it okay um, so for example if you want to take any images please uh, uh, search in open verse okay if you want uh, all creative commonly licensed images chahiye to aap uh, yahan pe सर्च कर सकते हैं ऑल द इमेजेस आर क्रिएटिव कॉमनली लाइसेंस टू मोस्ट ऑफ देम और पब्लिक डोमेन मार्क्स ओके और इफ यू वांट ऑल यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑल दीज लाइसेंसेस नाउ व्हाट आर दिस दिस टू आर पब्लिक डोमेन टूल्स दिस आर द वेरियस लाइसेंसेस सीसी बाय अगर चाहिए तो या दिस आर द वंस इवन यू हैव ऑडियोस आल्सो नॉट जस्ट इमेजेस समटाइम्स यू गेट इवन videos so try to do a search in openverse.org so that you will have all openly licensed images okay and when we talk about creative commons and open licenses i can go on and why not free ones there's a lot of expression that's what the explanations that see what happens is every pixabay will have their own license and conditions and uh, pexel will have their own license conditions any time they can change right they may say that attribution is not required it is free but they have their own license it is not openly licensed right so openly licensed images you can search in google with um, search in uh, uh, a tag as a creative commons images or you can come to openwords.org and then you can search for all creative commons license images i hope i am clear on this um 
let me share my screen on this and then I will end my, I hope I shared my uh, presentation with you. Uh, if you need any more information, um, you can always uh, contact. I think in my presentation, I have a uh, email. Uh, it's a very simple one, sushmanarao at gmail.com. I'm always available. If you need uh, any information about HYP catalog, you can go there, you can register, and then we'll respond it to you. We conduct even uh, free courses too on HYP entirely free course and certified by um we uh, we have a collaborations with uh, outside uh Marlott and hyp or two and then you can gain a certificate from there too but we are very strict about uh, the outcomes okay it's a free courses free courses you can access um uh, on hyp okay as a guest you can always see those courses but then you if you want to participate you have to register for the courses over there they're all free courses by the way and i can see that all of you are accessing my presentation as of now wonderful thank you so much any doubts you have on h5p or you have uh, any doubts on open educational resources please uh, the floor is yours now you can ask me any kind of uh, questions on H5P. Uh, even on using Lumi Cloud also, uh, I created a, a video. I shared with you all uh, my YouTube channel also. You can view that. Okay. Yeah, it will be a definitely a nice presentation, but then we will be very happy to see the results. Uh, and I hope uh, every one of you, each one of you, because CIT is taking... Uh, um, such wonderful steps to educate all of you. And then every one of you should become one uh, resource person uh, to carry forward this to the next next teachers. Uh, please. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you so much. And then please do let me know if you have any kind of a doubt about any kind of a content type. Because in two hours... Or three hours, it's not possible. We usually do a four-week course. And that also, they see, they feel it is not sufficient. It's uh, basically, you have to acquire, you have to spend knowledge. Um, share knowledge and then spend too, okay? Somebody else shared. Uh, H5P per ek MCQ question easily ban gaya tha. But add nahi ho raha hai. Kyunki, uh, Manu sir, Manu Rani, uh, uh, because it is uh, uh, a multiple choice question is a single question, right? So if you want to have different uh, multiple choice questions with the single correct answer, please go for a single choice. Okay. Uh, how we can save the links? shared by attendance link please thanks okay so you mean uh, all the links to be shared here or in my presentations we have the links even in my presentation i have my uh youtube channel link also i remember giving it there in my presentation i have the link The last slide before last slide, you will have. Um, okay, there is one more. Sorry, sorry. Um, yes, Sushma Ji. If you explore, you'll have a lot of questions. Um, yeah, I will, uh, uh, for free, asynchronous and synchronous, both we have. And uh, by the way, H5P is a great tool for uh, asynchronous learning. Uh, yeah, we will send the link. Uh, when, whoever filled the form, we will send the link. Uh, interactive video to be used with some other platforms like YouTube. Okay, let me clear this Riyaj Ahmad Darji. 
YouTube में खाली हम स्ट्रीम कर सकते हैं वीडियो अभी तक तो इंटरक्शन आया नहीं विमियो में आया है अगर इंटरक्टिव लेकिन एच में जो क्रिएट किया है इंटरक्टिव वीडियो वो डायरेक्टली भी विमियो भी यूज नहीं होता है विमियो का अपना अलग तरीका है इंटरक्टिविटीज डालने के लिए और आ, अगर आप ये इंटरक्टिव वीडियो यूज करना चाहते हैं कहीं और आ, आपके वीडियो के साथ तो आप जैसे मैंने बोला एच डी एम एल फाइल क्रिएट करके यूज कर सकते हैं और आपका वीडियो भी डायरेक्टली अपलोड मत कीजिए यूट्यूब में या विमियो में डाल के वहां से ले लीजिए लिंक सो दैट योर एच डी एम एल फाइल वोट बी सो हैवी ओके व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में शायद एच डी एम एल फाइल शेयर कर सकते हैं अगर उनका ब्राउजर ओपन uh, कर सकते हैं तो ये फाइल भी ओपन कर सकते हैं आप ट्राई कीजिए बट वाई अ व्हाट्सएप आई नो मेनी ऑफ यू यूज इट फॉर कम्युनिकेशन विद स्टूडेंट्स ओके भोपाल जी इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन देर इज एनी डिफरेंस इन यूजिंग डेस्कटॉप वर्शन एंड ऑनलाइन वर्शन थिंक अबाउट इट योर सेल्फ सर लाइक यू नो मेनी ऑफ यू विल गेट कंफ्यूज you need you need not to be a techie it's a very common uh, application of your brains that agar desktop mein hai to hum apna khud dekh rahe hain hum hamara uh, desktop ko koi public ip nahi diya hua hai so anybody else can access our system right so desktop application ho to hum yahan create karke yahan save karke reuse karke fir open karke kuch kar sakte hain online mein hai to agar publicly share karna chahte ho to lumi शेयर uh, करना चाह वो फाइल को लूमी एप्लीकेशन के जरिए शेयर कर सकते हैं दैट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस ओके हाउ टू शेयर कंटेंट आई हैव सेव्ड इट बट नॉट एबल टू शेयर इट हाउ टू शेयर कंटेंट ओके अगर आप सेव किया है और पब्लिक राइट साइड देर इज अ टॉप टू शेयर इट विद ओपन लाइसेंस यू क्लिक ऑन दैट चूज द लाइसेंस बट रिमेम्बर शालू यादव जी की आप जो लाइसेंस चूज कर रहे हैं यू नो दैट ऑल द कंडीशन एंड देन फ्रॉम वेयर यू हैव टेकन योर कॉन्टेंट ऑल दिट अगर दीक्षा से हो तो दीक्षा का कॉन्टेंट है सी सी बाई फाई एम नॉट रॉन्ग सो यू कैन प्रोवाइड द सोर्स इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड देन शेयर इट विद सी सी बाई और सी सी बाई से द कंपेटेबल लाइसेंस यू चोज एंड देन शेयर इट ओके देन योर लिंक विल बी विजिबल मोस्ट सुटेबल प्लेटफॉर्म यू हैव फॉर शेयरिंग विद स्टूडेंट्स हाँ जी हो सकता है मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स यू यूज दैट या अगर वो लोग ब्राउजर में ओपन कर सकते हैं तो या दे कैन ठीक है एच फाइव पी कोर्स हाँ जी uh, मैंने बोला कि uh, अभी आई शेयर दैट कोर्स ऑल्सो इट्स अ ओल्ड कोर्स नाउ इट्स बीन टू इयर्स वी आर रिवैम्पिंग इट i'm sharing that here but then soon we will announce it okay sarika uh it's not possible okay let me okay namrata ji let me come to that point too as a attack enthusiast i would always love to answer this question okay sarika ji it is not possible to upload a video file greater than 15 mb yeah how to manage that when we create videos they are mostly bigger than files and oh my oh my goodness um yeah after compression what is the duration of your videos usually i come across lot of videos of more than 5 minutes usually it shouldn't be right um to really engage and attract you might say that your topic demands such huge videos but then there is always a way that to chunk the content into bite sized but i don't know what kind of softwares you use what kind of codecs you use to save them as a mp4 files usually uh, they are not more than 15 to 20 mb okay coming to this uh, uploading option the video you should not upload you always upload your video in youtube and then use that i showed you how to use that we use that uh, urdu uh, ka lesson ka link right so you use that share a link option and that link you use it inside your interactive video that solves all your problems 
Okay. Now coming to Namrata ma'am's uh, question. Before that, let me see. Tarun Kumar ji ne Hindi mein likha hai. Jin bachon ke paas laptop nahi hai, uske liye aise bhi upyog hoga. School mein bhi uh, vektigat abhyas nahi karvaya ja sakta. Okay. Why not, sir? व्यक्तिगत अभ्यास कर सकते हैं स्कूल में अगर ओके आप अगर डिवाइसेस नहीं हो तो ओके सो ओके नाउ कमिंग टू गूगल फॉर्म गूगल फॉर आई डोंट नो वेदर इट इज फोरम आर अ फॉर्म देर अ डिफरेंस नम्रता जी गूगल क्लास रूम एंड मेनी पीपल आस्क मी दैट अगर गूगल फॉर्म से क्या डिफरेंस है गूगल फॉर्म में आप कैसे फीडबैक दे सकते हो आई डोंट नो विदिन हाउ यू कैन ट्रैक देम हाउ टू सी देर एंगेजमेंट लेवल्स दिस इज आर ऑल नॉट पॉसिबल बट एनी वे एवरी टूल हैज इट्स ओन प्रोज एंड कॉन्स आई ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट इट अ लॉट एंड यदि पहले से एच वाई पी पर रजिस्ट्रेशन किया है और पासवाई भू पासवर्ड भूल जाने पर क्या करें ओके okay. अगर एच वाई पी पर रजिस्ट्रेशन यानी एच वाई पी डॉट ओ आर जी में आई एम अगेन टेलिंग यू सर मुकेश जी एच वाई पी डॉट ओ आर जी में काम नहीं कीजिए वो खाली डिस्प्ले के लिए डॉक्यूमेंटेशन की वजह से अगर कहीं आप कहीं भी, भी आप पासवर्ड भूल गए हैं तो आप फॉरगॉट uh, पासवर्ड करके आप पासवर्ड को रिट्रीव कर सकते हैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इश्यूज आर ऑलवेज देर स्पेशली स्टेट्स लाइक हिमाचल प्रदेश वेर वी हैव वेरी रिमोट स्कूल्स इवन विथ नो इंटरनेट एंड कंप्यूटर्स इमरान खान जी आई वुड लाइक टू आंसर दिस देर आर सोल्यूशन दैट वी कैन गेट टेक्नोलॉजी एनहैंस लर्निंग इवन इन रिमोट एरियाज ओके मे बी दिस इज नॉट ए राइट प्लेटफॉर्म बट डेफिनेटली आई वुड लव टू डिस्कस दिस सारिका जी इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल टू अपलोड अगेन आई आंसर दिस वीडियो को डॉक्यूमेंट फॉर्मेट में सेंड करते थैंक यू आई डोंट नो ओके ओके सो एनी अदर डाउट्स अटेंडेंस लिंक दे आर वेरी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट अटेंडेंस लिंक सो एनी एनी अदर डाउट्स अबाउट pedagogical aspects of it i thought anybody will ask me about it as a teacher we have to always wear uh, our pedagogical hat before we use any kind of a tool uh, these are technological tools are just tools okay this is not a rocket science at all if we spend little time we understand how it works e content students access karenge but multiple choice question or matching word ko kaise access karenge um just samjhe nahi hum मैचिंग uh, वर्ड्स को कैसे वो लिंक देते हैं आप उसको तब एक्सेस कर सकते हैं जैसे कि आपका अभी अटेंडेंस लिंक आ रहा है जैसे ही लूमी क्लाउड uh, एप्लीकेशन में क्रिएट करके आप लिंक दे दीजिए नहीं तो आप फाइल uh, भेज दीजिए लूमी एप्लीकेशन में क्रिएट करके वो एच फाइल उनको दे दीजिए हाँ ओहो यूज हो सकता है लेकिन ये जो है एसिंक्रोनस लर्निंग के लिए और फॉर्मेटिव uh, असेसमेंट के लिए बहुत अच्छा है पुनः uh, यूज भी यानी कि री uh, uh, भी यूज कर कर सकते हैं कोई भी चीज हो या या अलका मैम या यू नीड लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम या या नो डाउट अबाउट इट अनलेस वी प्रैक्टिस इट वी कैन नॉट आई एम नॉट सेइंग दिस इज द ओनली टूल देर आर हंड्रेड्स एंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ टूल्स अवेलेबल आउटसाइड इन द मार्केट and it depends but then the most noted uh, the most noted and uh, most loved across the world open source tool is uh, interactive uh, t creation tool is h5p and then we can customize it the way we want it if we have resources that's the beauty of it okay yeah so anything else yeah but uh, in this uh, i don't know uh, there were around 180 and now there are 173 and uh, hardly i could see not even 10 links that who have created or practiced in this session that's very actually pathetic because itna sara acha lecture hai aur aapko itna sara tools introduce karte ja rahe hain hum lekin uh, 
को उतना ही एंथुसियाजम अगर हमको दिखाई दिया तो अच्छा होगा सो आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग नाउ समी सेंड फाइंड आउट नेम्स ऑफ एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड एंड मार्क दैट्स गुड या दैट्स गुड आई थिंक सुषमा जी ने भेजा है रफी साहब ने भी भेजा है आ, फिर, yes, फिर भी रफी साहब आपने तो डायरेक्टली आपका एडिटिंग फाइल्स शेयर किया है आपको um, उसको सेव करके पब्लिकली लाइसेंस के साथ वो लिंक शेयर करना चाहिए ठीक है बट आई रियली अप्रिशिएट मे बी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यू माइट हैव मिस्ड वन स्टेप ठीक है बट यू नीड यू नीड टू बी वेरी एक्टिव इंडीड प्रो एक्टिव right and there is no go back pandemic introduced as lot of technology to teach us and there's no looking back now because the coming generation needs technology integrated learning and we are seeing all the pros and cons of technology now in all the fields so we have to embrace the positive um, faces of it to improve teaching learning environments as teachers for our learners and also pro personally to grow for ourselves yeah thank you so much uh, so cit team that's great again interacting with these teachers uh, this is lovely if possible we can take a thank you so much ma'am thank you sir thank you alok sir i'm i'm sorry i couldn't do the last session and uh, Uh, i'm i'm back <laughs> thank you if no, possible ma'am uh, we were aware of your health issues